Sciences is the um, Anne Roberts School of Dance Studio, um, Pirani Hall is what we call it. Uh, this is where I grew up basically, so 29 now, I've been coming here since I was three years old, 27 years. Um, I'm now a teacher here, so I teach um, most days at the studio, from jazz to ballet to contemporary to all sorts of different things. Um, so it's very significant to me, I suppose. It's where I started my dance training. And experimentation is very important um, in my work, in, I think, most artists' work. I think it's the way that you find something different, you know? You've got an idea and you don't know if it's gonna work, you don't know if it even will look good or if it will create movement that you even like and quite often that happens and you go, that's, wow, not even what I want. Um, so I think it's important to experiment with all sorts of different things, with all sorts of different collaborations, with sound, with places, with environments, with earth, with, you know, who knows, all sorts of different things. Bringing other elements into it can just create movement that you didn't imagine just in a studio, I suppose. Permeate was an experiment um, that I did through the Independent Dance Project in Brisbane, um, which is through Fluxus 2 Dance Collective. I decided to use, I suppose, the idea of osmosis and diffusion as a starting point, as I wanted to create movement choreography that really inhabited the space from inside out, so from the inside of the body to the outside of the body. And I wanted to find a way, I suppose it was an experiment really, um, to get the physical body to really inhabit the space in which we move, in that they become one, so they exist as a simultaneous kind of changing moving form. There are components of what happened in my experiment that I really, really liked. Um, I could see that as a choreographer or a, um, a dance artist, I saw moments where I really let the experiment take over and the movement that resulted from that, I really, really loved. And then I saw moments where I became the, the dancer, the traditional kind of oh, that looks like a pretty movement, we'll put that in because that's what dance is. So I'd like more to hone in to the parts where I found new movement or movement that was different that I really liked that came from the place of really tapping into that idea of osmosis and diffusion and, and running with that. So I would like to um, tap more into that and, and create a bigger work, I suppose, with more experimental elements, with atmosphere, with, um, you know, projection, light, sound. Yeah, so I, I like to move, I guess, from the inside out, so the, that's where the motivation comes from, I suppose. So a lot of the time I'll create an internal narrative um, that inspires my movement or um, takes me on a journey as a performer, regardless of whether or not that is really the narrative I'm trying to portray. Maybe it's I use the narrative to portray an aesthetic rather than the other way around. Yep. It's quite grounded and raw and organic 
and certainly moves, flows from one thing to another. I am very passionate about choreography. Um, I love creating and I particularly like creating movement to put on my own body. I think I'm working with the challenge now of learning how to to put movement on other bodies, but it's certainly not where I exactly want to be at the moment. I think I find that I'm choreographing now because I want to I want to make opportunities for myself to perform. Um, I think that's what a lot of independent dance artists have to do um, so that you can create up create opportunities for yourself to perform. So certainly I would like to be a dance artist first, but I think they go hand in hand. When I'm building an idea, I guess I, I use journals or research and, and read a lot and, and write down any thoughts or narratives I come up with that might relate or themes, even if they're just words or feelings, and try and use those in discussions with working with other people, or the dancers, I suppose, um, or if it's just on myself, um, I use those as visual um, inspirations. When collaborating with other people, I think, I, I usually have an idea already of what, you know, what the theme is or the idea and I guess talking with other people and how they see it. Holly Greg Fitzgerald, it was her, um, during her exhibition at Umbrella Studios, so an Australian story, um, and her photo media works, I suppose, in, I, I was inspired by them in that I looked at them and I immediately saw like space, I immediately saw how those works, for me, just created an aesthetic that would be able to transform a space, I suppose. So we had um, like the live performance of myself, as well as the projection performance that was going on, which also had myself in it, but there were two narratives or two performances going on, and you couldn't see um, both at the same time. And I was working with Aaron Ashley on the projection side of things and the sound um, artist was Matt Alwyn. So uh, we were all given the task of looking at Holly Gray Fitzgerald's photo media work and developing our own narrative or story to create our own individual aspects of the performance. I think um, working with other people and, and getting their ideas on maybe an aesthetic you're trying to create or a message you're trying to get out, you know, build power with numbers, um, you know, everybody has a different perspective and I think different artists bring different ways to communicate that aesthetic and um, I, I like working with other people, it gets a bit lonely trying to do everything on your own. So yeah, I think it's just about building community and building um, art works that involve more than just one genre. You know, I think that's the way we're moving now. Is it's all about collaboration and about um, working with other people and and supporting each other as artists, especially in a regional town. <laughs>